Hands up, don't shoot became a rallying cry in protests across the country before most people realized it, that it wasn't true. Police brutality is real, but it is not racial. It is just that the black victims are the only ones treated as national stories. Race baiters, liberals, and the media are the real racists, stirring up the populace with hand-picked stories. Stories, by the way, which shouldn't even be controversial at all. Officer Darren Wilson, for example, was innocent due to evidence, including blood splatter, along with eyewitnesses claiming there never was a Michael Brown with his hands up. Only one that attacked the police officer to the point of bull rushing him and reaching into his vehicle to strike him. Why build a protest on this case? It makes no sense. In Cleveland, you have a 12 year old boy shot for holding a toy gun at a public park. Now that's a case to protest. Clearly all boys should have the right to play at a park without getting killed by the police. But not nearly as much reporting was done on this tragic story as was the Michael Brown case, which was built on a lie. There never was, hands up, don't shoot. It wasn't true. But there you have liberals and many poor blacks backing up this fantasy story, with White House officials showing up to Michael Brown's funeral, a criminal who physically intimidated a store clerk while robbing him and then attacking the police officer in his vehicle. Obama in February invited Trayvon Martin's family to the White House, really? A case where the media toted around a picture of a little baby boy? When in reality, this was Trayvon Martin. And for Zimmerman, talk about the media rushing in judgment before they saw an actual picture of him. How many times did we hear about a white male, Zimmerman? This guy isn't white by any standard. How about the parents of the alleged revenge killings over the Trayvon Martin case? Did those parents of the two white boys get invited to the White House? Did the Justice Department attend their funerals? Where is Al Sharpton and the protesters? Instead, this story was buried. Police brutality is real and racism is real, but they are probably not tied together as closely as much as the media wants you to believe. Instead of people rallying that all lives matter, we have organizations like the National Association for Colored People, Congressional Black Caucus, Black Entertainment, and the National Al Sharpton Action Network leading the charge on just who the racists are, carrying signs that say, Black Lives Matter. Interesting that people who identify their organizations and voting bias off the color of their skin would be given so much credibility as to where the real racism in America is. I wonder where these groups are when an unarmed white man is shot by a police officer. Get your hands out now! Get your hands out! Get your... get him out! Here is the deal, America. Police brutality is wrong, and we must do everything we can to stop it. There are too many damn laws. People have actually died in this country from just trying to sell cigarettes tax-free. <laughs> but you should also be aware of that if you attack the police, if you fire a gun into the air on a public street, you will justifiably be taken down by the police with a taser, pepper spray, an elbow, a nine millimeter. Or if you're walking down a street towards a building full of people firing a gun, you may even get a special Jack Bauer type ass kicking by a police officer. Of the 117 officers that died last year, one was strangled to death, 48 were shot, 18 died in a physical incident, two drowned, and 42 died in a vehicle crash, 10 of which died from being struck by a vehicle. Before you tell a police officer you can't protect yourself, you can't shoot a black person, and that he's a racist, remember that you and I only see the bad stuff when it makes the news. An officer in an inner city, he may witness citizen brutality on a nightly basis. Here you go, Al Sharpton. Here's something you can protest, something you can really get behind. Black lives do matter. And if you only want to focus on race, why don't you start with a new campaign? Stop black on black brutality. Because I assure you, this is an epidemic. Not the bad police officers attacking black citizens 
or the good police officers defending themselves against criminals like Michael Brown who attacked them. Hell, the street! That's what the motherfuckers say, dude. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No no peace. And here is something you can do. Please share this video and go to futuremoneytrends.com slash stop the hate where you can easily share this video as well as contact Al Sharpton, President Obama, and HandsUpUnited.org. Tell them it is time for them to apologize for fanning the flames of hate and lies that came with months of Hands Up Don't Shoot protests that were built on a complete lie. Worse than police brutality is the national media, politicians, and race baiters like Al Sharpton getting away with a frame job turning Officer Darren Wilson into a monster, unhirable and hidden away due to a lie being spoken so loudly that millions believe it to be the truth to the point he receives death threats. FutureMoneyTrends.com slash StopTheHate has included the email addresses, Twitter handle, Facebook page, and phone numbers for the people who are the driving force behind that lie. Hands up, don't shoot. It's time for them to apologize. To watch other micro documentaries like this, visit futuremoneytrends.com. Worried about government tyranny, inflation, and Obama's attack on prosperity? Subscribe to futuremoneytrends.com for weekly alerts to protect and grow your assets.